Okay girls, I have my makeup on, my lipstick on, I'm ready for the cooking show. My name is Marina Radregan, I'm from Portland, Oregon, and welcome back to my playroom. Kitchen is my playroom. This week it's side dish competition. And I want to show you how to make roasted bell pepper with creamy cheesy sauce. Now let's start step by step and show you the ingredients. First I will show you it's Philadelphia cream cheese. I will use original. Two tablespoons of butter. Quarter cup of green fresh pepper. Five cloves of fresh garlic. Bay leaf. Cup of tomatoes, which I peel and take off the seeds. Also, I have a cup of onions, dice. I have here three kinds of bell pepper, red, green and yellow. So I have two for each one. I roast it outside on the grill and the same thing, I take the skin off and also the, the seeds from inside. I have bacon crumbs, it's like quarter cup. Then quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Also, I will need dill and half cup of 7-Up. Now, let's start cooking. We're going to go to the stove and I will show you the step-by-step -step how you need to do it. I add 2 tablespoons of butter, 1 cup of onion and the garlic. Now it's, uh, it's nice and golden. We need to add the tomatoes. 1 cup of tomatoes. Tomatoes are, I take the seeds off and also the skin and I dice really, really nice and fine. And we stir all together. And also right now we need to add the bay leaf. One bay leaf. This bay leaf will make a, such a nice flavor. And also, we can add like a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay. Stir again. To add half cup of seven up. The reason we're using the 7-Up is because it, it gives you a lemon flavor or, and also sweetness. So that will be a really, really nice flavor altogether. It's better to use 7-Up instead of water. Now I'm, I'm going to add the green pepper and mix together and let us simmer all together. Step to add the, the bacon crops and stir. Now the Philadelphia cream cheese go inside and stir a little bit. Already start to be nice and creamy. And then we we can test for salt. Usually I don't add any more salt, but we can test and if you want a little bit more salty, that's fine. You can add like, like a pinch of salt. Now let's put the dill. I have like two, two teaspoons of dill. It's fresh and it's really, really strong, so you don't have to put a lot because it's going to take the cheesy flavor and other vegetables flavor, so two teaspoons will be just enough. I butter the pan and now let's layer the roasted bell pepper. What I'm going to do, I'm layer different color one by one and when you're gonna serve, everybody will have different color and different flavor actually. Each bell pepper have, you know, more sweet or less sweet, depends on color. After I'm making one layer of 
okay then I will just add a little bit of sauce just look at the sauce how nice and rich look okay and then spread all over on top of the roasted bell pepper layer another layer with pepper one green, one yellow, one red and we're gonna finish in the end with for sure with cheesy creamy sauce Okay, let's sprinkle some mozzarella cheese all over. Now I just put it in, in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, so my roasted bell pepper creamy cheesy sauce is done. So let's just plate it. You can see it looks so nice. Look at there, how nice and juicy it is. And plate it right here. Let's, let's take another slice. Oh my God, it's so yummy and so juicy. I'm telling you, this is delicious. Look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. So now I want to add some chicken breast. I just dab it for the plating. Look at that. How creamy and nice it is. And I can say, I can have a chicken breast also. Okay. And let's, let's try it. This is the roasted bell pepper mm. you can taste the sweetness of the red pepper you can taste the cream cheese you can taste a little bit of the dill I'm telling you I don't know if you wanna eat with this even the meat you don't need the meat anymore it's so good Mmm. Girls, you must to try this. I don't know. Red pe bell pepper and cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. It's go together so good that you cannot believe. I cannot even stop. Just look how creamy it is. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. And you can feel even the bacon a little bit. That's wonderful meal. Paula, like I said in the dessert, dessert uh, week, you must to try my dessert, but please try this dish too. You cannot say you don't like it. It's it's unbelievable so i will see you next week for the next competition and from portland oregon marinara dragon tell you have a good night because right now it's 10 o'clock here and have a wonderful weekend and good luck to everybody